everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We're here at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm very happy to be sitting next to Dr. Hal Roberts, who's from Holy Cross Hospital in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, some of our patients have had great results with Dr. Roberts, Dr. Roberts, including Tom Devine and Terry Tannenbaum. So thanks so much for being here today, Dr. Roberts. Thank you. And what we were just having a conversation about was uh, patients who have the need for mitral valve repair but in addition, they also have atrial fibrillation. And Dr. Roberts, can, I guess the first question would be, can you first describe whether or not this is a common situation for your patients? Well, first we want to talk about what atrial fibrillation is, and uh, it's uh, where the upper chambers of the heart uh, don't uh, contract in a uh, rhythmic uh, fashion. And because of that, it uh, decreases the uh, uh, efficiency of the uh, heart and uh, uh, putting out blood. Patients don't feel well with it and then most importantly because of the stagnation of the blood in the upper uh, chambers, particularly the left atrium, uh, clots can form and uh, these can uh, break off and uh, go to the brain. Uh, in fact in the U.S. they're responsible for about 20% uh, of all strokes uh, are uh, due to patients that have uh, atrial fibrillation. So if you do uh, have atrial fibrillation and you're needing uh, a valve procedure done, uh, it is really uh, important that the uh, surgeon that you uh, choose uh, has a facility in uh, also dealing with the uh, uh, the atrial fibrillation. And so I guess one of the questions, you have two situations with the patient, they've been diagnosed with either mitral regurgitation, mitral stenosis, and atrial fibrillation. Are, are the, is this all treated at the same time during one procedure? And following is, is that being done minimally invasive these days or not? Uh, very good questions. Yes, uh, we treat them at the same time. I mean, uh, I, I can add a what they call a concomitant uh, uh, cryomase. I, I use a a device that uh, replicates the uh, Cox maze uh, procedure. And, and the maze is, a, uh, very quickly, uh, for those who don't know, is a procedure that's uh, first devised in 1987 by Dr. Uh, James Cox. And it uh, basically uh, forms these uh, scars in the uh, left and right atria that uh, make it where electrical signals can't pass those little uh, lines that we make in the uh, left and right atria and it causes the uh, signals, the aberrant uh, uh, signals that cause atrial fibrillation to dead end into these uh, mazes and this allows then uh, uh, the normal signal to come through and so the patient said even if they've been in uh, atrial fibrillation for a couple of decades uh, you can do this uh, procedure and very high uh, percentage of cases, it will uh, uh, convert them back to a normal rhythm. So, so Dr. Roberts, a, a question I'm sure a lot of people have out there as they're selecting their medical care provider or their surgeon is, do all surgeons have the ability to treat both the mitral valve issue and atrial fibrillation at the same time? Uh, unfortunately, no. And in fact, if you look at the STS uh, database, only about uh, 50% uh, of patients that have atrial fibrillation that go to open heart surgery actually get a maze to get rid of it. And atrial fibrillation uh, is responsible for 20% of strokes. It uh, uh, greatly diminishes the uh, quality and the quantity of a patient's life. They're now relegated to being on blood thinners like Pradaxa, Coumadin. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's really you know they can't uh, participate in contact sports. It, uh, it, it great, and you know if they if they fall and uh, strike their head, uh, you can have what would be just a bump on the head can turn into a catastrophic event. Uh, so I, I think it's ex exceedingly important uh, that if you have atrial fibrillation and you are going to uh, need a valve procedure, that you insist that the uh, surgeon uh, uh, address the uh, atrial fibrillation at the same time with a maze or, or a variant of that maze uh, type procedure. One thing I would ask uh, the prospective uh, surgeon is uh, how long have you been doing it? Uh, how many have you done? What is your success rate? Uh, Etc. cetera. Because um, you know, it, it, it is equally as important in my estimation to get rid of the atrial fibrillation as it is to uh, resolve the uh, valve issue. Got it, and I am sure what a lot of the patients out there are wondering is ultimately, what are the success rates for treating both of these ailments at one time? Our success rate is uh, has generally been well above uh, 90, 95 percent, wow. and that includes patients that have had it for uh, 
you know, over 20 years. Well, Dr. Roberts, on behalf of all the patients and the caregivers out there, thanks so much for what you're doing at Fort Lauderdale at Holy Cross Hospital. And thanks for stopping by and spending some time with us and sharing your expertise with all the members of our community. Thanks so yeah, much. My pleasure. Thank you.